Hey guys, this is Stu Studio. I've got a little tech tip. Um, a couple days ago, I actually I dropped my guitar. I had it on my chair, and uh, I think when it hit my chair, it uh, I think it it hit this twelfth fret, and uh, I had the slightest buzz. I fixed it now. It's still, I can still maybe, it, I mean, it's good. I'm very particular with like my, how I have my setup. The way I fixed it was, I'm like pretty good with guitar. So if you're not good with guitars, and this is an expensive guitar, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but a quick fix without spending a bunch of money to get uh, like a fret job or take it into a luthier and not have your guitar is this I'll show you you guys know what this is this is just a stew a stew Mac like like it's it's pretty much like a uh, a nail or a nail file really thin but I use the uh, I mean the grid on it's I don't know it's it's not it's not thick at all the other side so you can't it won't go through metal but this other side so, so I'll show you what I did. Let me get a close up. So what I did was, I'll show you. I loosened my strings because you take the strings off, and then you won't know if you if you're there or not with your with the fret leveling. See, I mean, if you took your strings off, then you wouldn't know if you got it or not. And this took me about like 10 15 minutes to file it because it's such a here it is, get a better picture of it. It's the Stu Mac file. I mean, it's such a like it doesn't do any damage to the frets, but if you want to take off like just like a teeny teeny bit just so because I had the slightest buzz on my on that on this C, C note which this fret right here was like it was just a little teeny inty bit high so I use this I'll show you and I went under I put my finger on this fret. So it's this fret right here. And I use this side. And I carefully. I carefully. Lifted these strings. And I just. Did where the. Uh, B string was. And this. Honestly doesn't do any damage. You don't have to recrown it. Because it's such. It's. It's such a. Um, it's almost like polishing it, but it takes the teeny, teeniest bit off. I get the frets like with no damage. You can even do this if you have fret sprout. This works with fret sprout. It gets rid of fret sprout. This little thingy. So I'm just doing this. See, I'm doing it right now because it just, it just needs a teeny, teeny bit more. And this, this doesn't damage your guitar. I'm pretty handy with guitars. But this worked. I had like a slight buzz. And this, uh... This fixed it. You gotta be careful. And I... <clears throat> and I lowered the action. I mean, I could I could have got it with no buzz. But the action was too high for me. My neck, you gotta make sure your neck's straight. And I, I can tell, see like, that fret right there, right here. I mean, I could probably do like a, I mean, this barely takes any off, so. I could, I could be here for like 10 minutes getting only, only like a hair off. That's why I like it, because it's, uh, it's 
kind of idiot proof. So I want to go on this fret. And this won't damage your frets because it's such. It's like 1600 grit, not even. I mean, it's for. It's used for filing your nails. But it works. And I just keep doing this. Just on that spot. Around it. Makes it nice and smooth, too. It's almost like polishing your fret at the same time. I mean, I, I did this earlier and I spent like 10 minutes doing this, but <laughs> it's worth it if you want your guitar playing, right? Especially an expensive guitar like this. See, I'm pretty much, see, and that's the grit. The other side, don't even use it. I guess you could use this for polishing your frets, but... This side will take off. It barely takes any off your fret, but this won't work if you have a really high fret. This, I suggest only using this if you just want to take like a hair off. Other, I mean, if you gotta do more than that, this this won't work. But if you just need a slightest adjustment, this can get you. This will work. Okay. It is so much better than it was. Before it the note wouldn't ring the note wouldn't ring out as much. I mean I I'm not gonna do it in this video. But I could probably stay here for another five more minutes. And probably take off like I don't really know how much it's taken off, but it's not taking off a lot. But with this kind of guitar, it's worth taking my time to get that perfect. Because that, before I use this thing, this note right here was buzzing. No, it's not buzzing. I mean, I might take a teeny bit more off, but I'm pretty happy. I am pretty happy with with that now. And if you look, this fret right here, there's no damage to it. You don't even need to crown it. Just smoothed it off pretty much. So that's my little tip. Because I didn't want to not take this into a shop and have them to say, oh, you need to refret the whole guitar or something, when all I needed was just this little fret, just to be a hair. That's all it needed to stop that little bit of buzz. And now I'm ready to go. So this thing, get yourself one of these for very, very small fret jobs. This saved me from taking it into the uh, shop. And uh, that's my little tech tip. And uh, Philip, Philip Knight, if you see this, give me an okay if you think this is a good idea. Because uh, I know it's a good idea. I'm really handy with guitar, so. Tell me what you think, Philip. Would you do this? Peace.